dirt and dirt and it's going to be what we did this in practice. <coughs> there are some meditators who are successful. They want to maintain their concentration over the one hour, two hour, three hour, etc. Because when Nimeda appear, become transparent counterpart side, usually I suggest them to increase their concentration over the two hour, three hour, etc. <coughs> In this meditation hall, <coughs> They do not sit continuously more than three hours because many meditators get up when one hour finish, they get up. <laughs> so they cannot maintain their concentration continuously. Because of this reason, they must search for another place to maintain their concentration more than three hours. That small meditation hall also, sometimes there are many tokens they do. Hmm? So this is also not good. So around this monastery, <coughs> everywhere should be, keep, you should keep noble silence. Because some meditators, if there is no suitable place, I permit them to meditate in their own kuti. So the, if they are meditating in their own room or in their own kuti, around this kuti also noble silence is very important. So if you want to discuss any Dhamma, then here small right library. In that library you can discuss with a low voice, not loud voice. <laughs> so if you can help in this way, every meditator will be very uh, happy. Hmm? So please uh, help to each other. Then today I want to try <coughs> to build the origination. You may, re you may remember in Samantha Meditation Practice book that taught on a banana, four stages, long breath, short breath, the whole breath body, and tranquilizing the whole breath body formation. This is especially referring up to four China stage. Imagine for for China, if you want to go to Vipassana Hall, you should practice. Idi ija dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiharadi. Bhai dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiharadi. Ija da bhai dawa gaye gaya nubasi wiharadi. In this way, he advised contemplating the body as a body in the Nelly. Or he advised contemplating the body as a body externally, or he advised contemplating the body as a body, <coughs> both internally and externally. Hmm? Last night we had been discussed about this partially only. If you want to understand fully, then you must write this practically, <laughs> and then you will understand fully. Hmm? Today we will continue to bring the origination. Then what we must do after Kisani argument, mentality, argument, material, the internally and externally. Next step for that talk. Samudhiya dhamma nubha siwa gaya sami viharadi. Vaya dhamma nubha siwa gaya sami viharadi. Samudhiya vaya dhamma nubha siwa gaya sami viharadi. Or else he advise contemplating in the body. It is rising nature, it's nature of rising. Or he abides contemplating in the body, it's nature of dissolution. Or he abides contemplating in the body, it's nature of rising in dissolution. <coughs> there are two types of rising. Causal rising and momentary rising. Causal rising means because of this, this arises. This is called causal rising. Momentary rising is every mentality or every materiality. As soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. 
This is called momentary rising. So you must try, in this case, you must find two types of rising. Causal rising and momentary rising. <coughs> what is the causal rising? This is the dependent origination. Vijja, Vijja, Sankara, Sankara, Vijja, Vijnana, Sankara, in this way, put that thought. This is dependent origination. But formula is very short. The meaning is very wide. You must take long time for a long time. <laughs> so because of the rising of Vijja, Sankara formations arise. Bolishin and formations in this case. Wholesome or unwholesome. Wholesome volition and formations or unwholesome volition and formations arise. Because of the rising of wager, these two types of volition and formations arise. What is wager? Ignorance. What is volition and formations? When they had been arise. So these are very wonderful questions. Now, before we are discussing about this, I want to discuss with you because of the rising of cause, this affect rise. If it is so, there is cause as well as there is effect, which will be preceding, which will be succeeding. Cause will be preceding or effect will be preceding. Because of the, this cause, this effect rise. So cause must be preceding. Is it true? Yes. If there is cause, there will be effect. There are two noble truths. Noble truth of suffering, Tokasi. The noble truth of the origin of suffering, Samuriya Sitya. Noble truth of suffering, Dukkha Sitya is effect. The noble truth of the origin of suffering is Surya Sija, is cause. So there are cause and effect, which will be preceding. Surya Sija, the origin of noble truth of suffering will be preceding noble truth. Hmm? So if there is Dukkha Sija, if there is Surya Sija, if Surya Sija must be preceding, Sija, then we should check. In the beginning of our life, we are staying in our mother's womb. In the first moment, the first moment of our, the first moment is called Padishanti, but lingering moment. Why they are called Padishanti? Is Padishanti the real meaning is the past life and present life. Another was past five aggregates and present five aggregates. Mm -hmm. This consciousness link past aggregate and present aggregate. So because of this reason, this, this consciousness moment is called Padishanti, but linking moment. In that but linking moment, for human beings who have three, who have, their Padishanti has three roots. Three roots means this Padishanti consciousness associated with a lover, no greed, a dosa, no hatred, and a moha, no delusion of wisdom faculty. If these three are associated together with his path linking consciousness, such person usually have 33 mental factors or 34 mental factors at that time. What are 33? What are 34? Last night I had calculated same 33 or same 34. That degree means if they are Padishanti, but consciousness is not associated with Swamanasa, blissful happiness, feeling, they, 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 uh, it will be associated with neutral feeling. If it is associated with neutral feeling, then Ravacha cannot rise. Can, Ravacha cannot be associated with that consciousness. So if Ravcha is absent, there may be 33, but usually many people have 34. How we can distinguish? When you are discerning this mental factors, other than you can clearly understand. But roughly, if you want to understand as a general, when they are meditating, you can see their faces. <laughs> so 
Going up mentally is always associated with happiness feeling. So always they have happy, but some have no happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so this we can see, or oh, this is his personality, or how going up mentally is associated with neutral feeling. In the same way, when children they are sleeping soundly, other than we can see some children are smiling face, but some have. <laughs> so, neutral feeling and eh? smiling feeling, we can, eh? uh, we can, uh, we can cut. Eh? But really, if you listen to the memory of the Abdul Brisandi, but the game moment, then eh? other than you get an answer, there are 34 or 33. How you should listen? Later, I will discuss. So, in our life, at the beginning stage of eh, our mother's conception stage. Hmm? Hmm. There are 34 mental factors, for example, hmm? Hmm. 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 and then there are three types of kalabas, heart decay kalaba, body decay kalaba, sex determining material de sex decay kalaba. So there are three types of kalabas. The three types of kalabas are the clinging aggregate of material de materiality aggregate. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Then 34 mental factors if we analyze, there is feeling. That feeling is the aggregate of feeling. There is perception. That perception is the aggregate of perception. The remaining 31 mental formations headed by Bonishen Chetana. They are the aggregate of formations. There is one type of consciousness. That consciousness is the aggregate of consciousness. All together there are five aggregates. So in first moment in our mother's book, five aggregates arise. This is first time. So this is these five aggregates are lower true of suffering. Dukkha Sija. This is a fact. What is it is caused? Buddha also said it is caused the origin of noble truth of suffering. Smurya Sija. <coughs> Dhoka Sija is effect. Smurya Sija is cause. If you accept, hmm, cause must be preceding, effect must be succeeding. Then this cause cannot be in this life. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, this cause must be in previous life only, mm -hmm. not in this life. Mm -hmm. This is very clear. Mm -hmm. If the present Smurya Sija, mm -hmm. you also know accumulated many Hosan and Hosan Kamas, mm -hmm. these are Smurya Sija. Mm -hmm. If Smurya Sija can produce in present high aggregate, all will be very, very beautiful men and women. They will do wholesome tamas. They will wish for to be very beautiful ones. Then they, they will be very beautiful ones. They will do many, many wholesome tamas. They will wish for to be the young persons only. <laughs> <laughs> then there will be no old persons. Is it true? So present Samuriya Sejya is me, not because of present fat aggregates. First Samuriya Sejya is the present uh, the cause of the present five aggregates only. Mm -hmm. Then present Samuriya Sitja is the cause of future five aggregates mm -hmm. only. Not present five aggregates. Mm -hmm. So you should understand this. What is Samuriya Sitja? Uh, Kriyavi Tana is Samuriya Sitja. They easily say which Tana? They do not divide. They do not analyze. Mm -hmm. Present Tana cannot be the cause of present five aggregates. Pre previous Tana only can be the cause of present five aggregates only. So, at the beginning of my tomato, without understanding as, as, as they really are, if you, without understanding as they really are, for noble truths, you cannot attain a hardship. This is Buddha thought. So, if you want to attain a hardship, first you must try to understand for noble truths. Among for noble truths, 
The overview of safari Tuka Sija. This is a clingy aggregate. The overview of the origin of safari Smuria Sija. This is a division origination. These two noble truths are the object of Vipassana. You must contemplate them as nature to Kanaja only. They are the object of Vipassana. Without understanding, if you practice, without understanding these two types of noble truths, if you practice Vipassana, your Vipassana is only just superficial, only, not real Vipassana. So, Secondly, now you had me this argument mentally, materially, internally, and externally both. At that time, you should go back to this second noble truth, the origin of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. So we are that. How you should practice. There are many ways to get to this divergent origination. There is one famous example that mentioned in the commentary. It may was to collect some creepers. So he went to the forest. Forest is forest is very thick. So in the forest when he's searching for creepers, he sees the middle of creeper. Then he cuts in the middle and slowly go up to the road. Then he used according to his own desire. Is it possible? Possible. He can use this creeper also. But some persons when they are searching for creepers, they see the middle only. Mm -hmm. At that time, they cut in the middle and then go to top, not up to the road. Mm -hmm. They go top, top. Mm -hmm. Then they can see and they can use also this and they go to their own design. Mm -hmm. In the same way, sometimes Buddha are taught to gain the origination from the middle to the beginning of Uja. Sometimes Buddha taught the divine origination from the middle to the uh, forward, hmm? forward of the Chandi Charamrana, death, uh, but then death. Hmm? Hmm. So in this way also Buddha taught. Hmm. This is two ways. Another way is some, some persons when they are searching for creepers, they see the root first, so they cut and they slowly go to up to the end. Mm -hmm. so this is also possible according to their own desire they can use. Hmm? In, the, in the same way, Buddha also sometimes talk from the Vajjadu, Vajjabhicca, Sankara, Sankara, Vajjabhicca, Vajjana, Avadu, Chari, Jaramarana. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This is also possible. Another way is sometimes some persons find they are searching for creepers. They see only just the part. And then from first they slowly go to up to the road. Mm -hmm. They cut. It is also possible to use. Mm -hmm. In the same way, sometimes Buddha does. Jadi, Marana, death, death rise. Why mm -hmm. death rise? Because of Jadi part. Mm -hmm. But rise, why? Because of Bigami. Bigami rise, why? Because of clinging, etc. In this way, go up to Vajja ignorance. Mm -hmm. This is also possible. In this way, also Buddha does. <coughs> In Padisa Media, Mecca. When I reversally vote that dot one method, this is maybe one group. Cost is one group, effect is one group. And this way also he thought. Five previous causes, five previous causes produce present five results. Present five causes produce future five results. And this way also he thought. So there are different ways we must learn to bring the origination. Among these different ways, usually I teach one way. Later, if they are they figure is but different ways I teach, but especially at least two ways. Two ways means five causes produce first five causes produce present effect. Present five causes produce future effect. This is also necessary. Mm. Why? When you are bright as a wee person, when you reach Uriya Vya Nana stage, arising dissolution Nana stage, mm -hmm. at that time you must in every day really practice this way. So because of this reason, this way also necessary. Another way, famous way is to bend the origination first method. Oja Bicha, Sankara, Sankara Bicha, Unyana, Unyana Bicha, Namaruba, etc. This is also important. So this way also we usually teach. When we are teaching in this way, Usually we begin Hara Sabda Desana. 
Hara Soda is a and we need Hana Waga Sayoda. Hara Soda is of the need Hana Waga Sayoda Nigaya. Yes, one female soda. In that soda, Buddha explained two types of Hara nutriment. Mm -hmm. What are nutriment means? <coughs> Fasa, Chidana, Kavaligara, Navawa is nutritive essence, Kavaligara Hara. Chidana, Fasa, Chidana, Winyana. Fasa, Kunda, Chidana, Polishing, Winyana, Consciousness. Mm -hmm. These four are mm -hmm. As nutrients, Buddha taught. Nutrient means, in this case, cost only. What is cost? Cost here means, <coughs> last night we had been dis discussed, huh? in the material diva, nutritive essence can produce many generations. But that nutritive essence, in karma, Home, karma produce materially also there is nutritive asset. Mind produce materially also there nutritive asset. Mm. Temperature produce materially also there is nutritive asset. Mm. Nutrient produce materially also there is nutritive asset. There are four types of nutritive assets. All these four types of nutritive assets when digesting fire and nutrient produce materially nutritive essence support for they all can produce <coughs> new generations. Because of these generations, these generations can support to maintain this body for a long time. If there is no new treatment, then we will die very soon. So because of this reason, this is also to maintain this body for a long time, this nutrient Nutritive essence also one cause. Another is fasa. If you do not hear my sound, mm. then you cannot understand my words. Now you can hear my sound, then you can understand. Why? Fasa is predominant feather. When my sound touch in your ear, transparent element. At the day, fasa work. Connect your mm -hmm. mind and the object. Mm -hmm. Fasa is joiner. <laughs> if you are now sound sleep, you have still ear. I also talk it, but you are sleeping while listening to my talk. <laughs> yes, no fasa. So because of this reason, you cannot hear my words. Is it true? Yes. So fasa is very important. So to arise. The mental formations, fasa is the China important mm -hmm. cause. Mm -hmm. This is also one cause. Mm -hmm. Chetana, when producing any fat aggregate in new existence, Chetana is very important. Mm -hmm. Without Chetana, any drama cannot produce in this fasa. Mm -hmm. So when Chetana is very strong, fat is very powerful. When Chetana is very weak, mm -hmm. fat is very weak. Now you are practicing Dhamma. <coughs> you are also trying donation as far well as you get. But when we are trying donation together, some people have such a powerful volition, but some have no much volition. Their children is very weak. Some meditators' children is very strong. So, when they produce it is hazard, so strong jetana will produce very powerful hazard. Weak jetana can produce only weak hazard only. Mm -hmm. So, although we are trying together some wholesome karmas, we are accumulating together some wholesome karmas, but depending on jetana, it produces good or bad hazards. Mm -hmm or high resistance, hmm? mm -hmm. inferior and superior. Mm -hmm. Because of this reason, in Chula Gama Vibhanga Soda, Buddha says, Kama Sade Vibhanga Hina Panita Daya. It is Kama which hmm? uh, distinguish beings to be inferior or superior. Mm -hmm. Kama distinguish. 
to be inferior or superior, to be beautiful or ugly. <laughs> In the same way, karma is language to be beautiful, to be ugly. Because when they are accumulated, wholesome karma, with heavy mind, with a lot of metta, they offer offerings to receivers. But some people, when they are offering, they have no heavy mind. They have a lot of anger, other than they offer. So, wholesome karma is not the same. One person's wholesome karma is associated or accompanied with anger. Mm. One person's wholesome karma is associated with loving kindness. Mm. When they produce a disaster, not saying. Mm. One person's karma, wholesome karma, which is accompanied by anger, when it produces a disaster, it will be the ugly one, ugly person, <laughs> inferior one. But one person's also, Dharma is associated with loving kindness a lot. Then, when that Dharma produces a disgrace, then it Dharma produces very beautiful five figures. Mm -hmm. For example, our Buddha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our Buddha fulfills ten paramis for an ascent here in Antonyva, eons and hundred thousand eons. For in Kalu in hundred thousand eons. He has accumulated ten Burmese up to a demi of uh, seven years to become Onishin Buddha. But among these many wholesome karma, Middha wholesome karma produced his last rebirth moment by ingredients. But Middha Jana can produce only in Brahmawa. It cannot produce a disaster in human world. But before Middha Jana stage, there are several powerful excess concentrations. These are sensual wholesome tamas, karma matra wholesome tamas. They produce fat aggregates in the time of our body status, but but little moment. Mm. So because of this reason, this wholesome tamas is a gambit associated with loving kindness meta. Then his five ingredients will be very, very beautiful one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, karma distinguished beings to be inferior or superior. So, we should try to discern now today. Hmm? How we should discern? Number one, First, you must try to discern argument mentality, argument materially, internally and externally again. Then, there may be some type of wholesome karma. When you are doing this wholesome karma, every time you wish for any future existence, you should choose that karma. For example, when you are accumulating wholesome karma, Every day you wish for to become bhikkhu, for example, for example only, <laughs> not real. <huh? laughs> so, then if you accumulate this wholesome dharma, what have been mind? You should trace, huh? you should go back up to that wholesome dharma time. The time when you are accumulating that wholesome dharma, how we should go back? You should design argument mentality, argument mentality, and argument mentality internally and externally. Mm. And then you should try to design argument mentality, materiality, slowly, slowly. So in, in this way, if you go nama, ruba, nama, ruba, mentality, materiality, mentality, materiality, in this way, if you go back, then you can easily see. When you are accumulating wholesome dharma, at that time you accumulate one type of wholesome dharma. At that time you wish for to become bhikkhu. Up to that time you can go back. But if it is a little bit difficult, how you should try? Then you should sit in front of Buddha in this. You should pay attention, this is real Buddha. And then, as far as you can, you should remember 
the quality of the product. You should recollect the quality of the product. And then you should uh, offer one candle light, eh? maybe small cup of water, for example. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then you should try to wish for according to your own desire. If you wish for to be a very good in future light, then you should note that appearance of mine. Hmm? <coughs> then please meditate. Please please, uh, please to Anabana or, or the Dagasina of the Fort Jana. Mm -hmm. imagine, imagine from Fort Jana, you should just uh, add the mentality, mentality, internally and externally. And then go back. Back what? Hmm? Go back what? Nama Ruba, Nama Ruba, Nama Ruba. And then you will see why you are offering candle light. Whose one tomorrow you can easily discern? This whole sentiment, especially other than you should not forget Ruba. Ruba means, especially in this case, important Ruba is hard face. We have 50 both Rubas, but especially you must emphasize hard face. Then, together with hard face, you should try Ruba. Do this, Ruba, then Nama, Nama, Ruba, Nama, Ruba, in this way, Bhagwa. When you are offering candle like do the Buddha image, at the time, Nama Ruba, you can clearly discern. Then you should compare whether this real Nama Ruba when really and offering or not. Hmm? So you should check again. again. If you get this uh, whole sentiment while offering Nama Ruba, then please go forward or backward. How do you wish for? Then if you wish for to be the very good in future existence, then that wishing also you should try to discern. So this is the Oija, Tatna, Ubadana, Sankara, Kama type causes. What is Oija? According to Buddha's teaching, when, our, when we analyze our body, or externally and internally, there is nothing, only Nama and Ruba, mentality and materiality. They are, as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. There is no time to call, this is Peku, this is father, this is mother. Who is your mother? There is no time to show. This is our mother, this is our father, this is my husband, this is my wife. In this way, there is no time to show. Very, very quickly, they are rising and passing away. In the same way, Peku, if you pay attention for any miss and then Peku like, this is also Nama Ruba. They are very, very quickly rising and passing away, only mm -hmm. just Nama Rupa only, no Veku. But if you really believe there is Veku, mm -hmm. this is called ignorance. If you really understand this is Nama Rupa, this is understanding is no virtue of suffering. Mm -hmm. So one day Veku asked Buddha, one day, ignorance, it is said, ignorance, ignorance. What is ignorance? Oh, not knowing the noble truth of suffering, not knowing the noble truth of the origin of suffering, not knowing the noble truth of the cessation of suffering, not knowing the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. This is called ignorance. This is the ignorance meaning of it. But if they do not know noble truth, how they know? Opposite. Opposite means they know this is man, woman. Beku, Bekuni, etc. In this way they know. So this knowing is wrong knowing. Mm -hmm. Because of this reason, this is called ignorance. Hmm? So that ignorance cannot rest alone. According to Buddha's teaching, always they rest with associated mental formations. Usually if you wish for with happy mind, there are 20 mental formations. <laughs> you should try to see these 20 mental formations again. Hmm? 30 mental formations are maybe seven universals last night we had to discuss. Contact, feeling, perception, etc. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And then four are four swan tamas. Delusion, moha, hmm? ignorance, moha, ahiriga, shame, shameful, hmm? shame, shame, hmm? yeah? uh, ahiriga, uh, no. not dabba, is hmm? not fearful. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And then audit oh, restless. And then wrong view. Wrong view means yes, really very good. He believes yes, really very good. This is wrong view. And then there is attachment to that very good life. 
Creepy. Mm -hmm. Once you get that 20, these 20 mental formations are present at that time. Mm -hmm. They, in the 20 mental formations, ignorance which are also included, craving also included, and then clinging also included. Clinging means repeated craving is called clinging. So these three are always present. But so that's in some mental process. Oja is predominant factor. In some mental process, craving is predominant factor. Mm -hmm. In some mental process, clinging is predominant factor. So because of this reason, Buddha distinguished these three. So that they usually they rise together. Mm -hmm. Although they rise together, the power is a little bit different. So because of this reason, Buddha says these three separately. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you should try to discern this craving, uh, ignorance, craving, and clinging. If you can discern this ignorance, craving, and clinging together, then you should search for wholesome formations again. Okay. While you are offering candle light to the Buddha, or you are water to the Buddha, <coughs> then there how many mental formations? When offering is one for process, Wishing for is one process, <coughs> not safe. So, after offering, they may be wish for, or before offering, they may wish for. Maybe both power and backward, they are maybe many times. So, while they are offering, how many wholesome mental formations are there? You should try to discern. They are usually, if you with happy mind, if you offer, then there are 34 mental formations. But, based on ignorance, craving, and clinging, you accumulate this whole Santa Mas, we can say. Why? You want to be gone in future existence, one people. If you want to be gone in future existence, beautiful woman, same. <laughs> in the same way. Now, if you want to be rich person in future existence, this is also the same. Or if you want to be gone in future, to be reborn as a Diva, this is also the same. To be reborn as a Brahma, same. All are same. So because there is no rich man, there is no woman, there is no man, there is no Deva, there is no Brahma. Only ultimate mentality and materiality. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. In the same way here, ignorance, craving, clinging, as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. The dissolution is very quick. In the same way, there are wholesome formations when you are offering general light to the Buddha image. Mm. There are also the for mental formations. The mental formations, as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. But when they pass away, they left behind such a powerful coming force. Mm. That coming force is how you should try and pass to Jesa these study for mental formations. As soon as they pass away, well, you should try to see this coming force again. Again, again, if you do, then you will understand this coming force. But this coming force is not ultimate reality. This is the energy only. Now you are listening to my Dhammata. Now are you, you have anger? No. Now mm -hmm. at present, no anger. But one day if you meet any opportunity to rouse anger, then anger may rise. Then we can say this anger is you, you have not yet already destroyed, mm -hmm. not removed. That anger is as a latent tendency, underlying tendency, mm -hmm. going together your mentality and materiality, mm -hmm. as a underlying tendency. Mm -hmm. In the same way, karma is also like merely said. Mm -hmm. But I do not mean karma is anusia, huh? latent tendency, mm -hmm. but merely said. Mm -hmm. That coming force you should search for. Mm -hmm. This is the bronze image karma. Mm -hmm. the, if you can discern uh, this bronze image mm -hmm. karma, then please go back. Namaruba, 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 slowly. Then slowly up to childhood. If you go back slowly, check Namaruba, childhood. You can see you are occasionally you are images. Maybe as a child you are crying, mm -hmm. as a child you are laughing. You can see these images. Whenever you see these images, you can, you must there some four elements in that image. Mm -hmm. Then you cannot see image, you can see only a group of small particles. 
please analyze this robots and then number robot number robot in this way whenever you see any image you can do four elements you can just send four elements and then you should go back up to mother's home hmm? inside mother's home also you may see any picture you should pay attention for elements only then you can see only a group of small body guys and then slowly number robot number robot up to first moment hmm? first linking moment number robot and then, then you should try to make sure in Ruba there are three types of Ruba, on, uh, Ruba Club only <coughs> Sex Degree Club, Heart Degree Club, Sex Degree Club, Body Degree Club only These three Medal formations may be 34 or 33 So if you had me just on this medal formations Nama Ruba then you should go um, number robot number robot to this one. Somebody leaders can do easily, but somebody leaders cannot do easily. So <coughs> if they cannot do easily, then how they should do? They should go back China again. <laughs> Maybe Anabana Abdul Pope China or other Dagasina, White Casina, Abdul Pope China, etc. Mm -hmm. Coming up from that China. Again, you should just send number robot again in the same way. Mm. But this way of writing is you must do not only once, but for many times. Then if you reach up the bridge and you stretch number robot, but linking moment number robot, then please go forward. Then at that time, you may see some type of image. Or maybe your own dead body or some type of image before that. Mm. Why this image appear? Because of wholesome karma, which is ready to produce it is result. At that time, one type of sign we call karma, karma nimeda, and kati nimeda. Mm -hmm. Karma means wholesome karma. Karma nimeda is why you are accumulating wholesome karma. Some different types of images like pagodas, arasivas, etc. Kati nimeda is destination. So one of these signs must be appear before.